What's up, everybody? It's easy. We think you can three-star almost any Town Hall 11 ring base with an attack just like this. We had three pretty simple steps that we took to three-star this base. First step was to scout the base. These are all things that we all already know. We're just going to kind of go over them again. So we started off by checking the base out. We scouted it. We saw that it had two air defenses that were really accessible. And then it had two more that were inside the core that could not reach the outer layer of buildings. So that's what we wanted to take advantage of was the air defenses. And most people would think that, okay, you want to take, a, you want to take advantage of the air defenses. So we're going to go with an air attack. But because of how many air troops we'd have to put in to take out all those buildings and still three star without running out of time we decided that we were going to go with the ground so step two it's hard for me to shut up during those <laughs> step two is we're going to have one of the lower town halls scout it <laughs> So we decided to have the Town Hall 9 scout it using a P.E.K.K.A. walk going down that top right hand part of the base. Then we use a king and some witches going down the, the top left part of the base. And during this part of the attack we want to see if we can pull the clan castle troops without actually having to jump into the core. Just to see if those troops on the top left there will actually be able to pull them on their own. And uh, to see if once the eagle artillery goes off if the P.E.K.K.A. will live through it. Which is another important factor uh, and see if well we're going to use valkyries in the core and we're going to see if the valkyries will be able to actually blast their way through the core we use a bunch of spells with it and we know that it's a town hall 9 and town hall 11 attack which is what we'll end up using on it. it's going to be a lot stronger but this would give us a real good indication of, of exactly how this attack's going to go so we weren't able to pull the clan castle troops we had saved the queen in reserve for the clan castle, so if the king had ended up pulling the clan castle, we would have put the queen on him. We put in the Valkyries. The Valkyries are what's going to charge the middle. We, In this Town Hall 9 attack, we used miners with the Valkyries. And it, it pretty much went as expected. We're, we were kind of surprised that the Eagle Artillery did not take out the level 3 P.E.K.K.A. So that's good news because we're going to be attacking with Max P.E.K.K.A. In the actual attack they didn't get taken out until the dragon from the core comes down to help out in between the eagle artillery and the dragon then the, the pecker go down but we didn't realize that okay we're gonna have to do something about those clan castle troops we don't want a baby dragon a dragon and a wizard beating up on our the core troops uh, fortunately we did find a hole behind the walls which that's just a lucky break most of the time you're not gonna find that So, last step, take everything you learned from the scout, from the Town Hall 9 attack, and put it all together. So, for the actual attack, we have number 1 versus number 1, Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11. Didn't have any room for error, didn't have any backup attacks, so we decided to go with a kind of unorthodox attack with a P.E.K.K.A. walk, 3 P.E.K.K.A., 4 healers. We're going to take them down the top right hand corner, corridor there, just like we did with the Town Hall 9. We're going to use the Barbarian King and 2 Witches and a couple Wizards going down the top left hand corridor, whatever you, hell you call that. And again, now we're saving the Queen and the Warden for when we pull up the Clan Castle troops. There was that little hole, you see, we put the Valkyrie in right there. That pulls the Clan Castle troops out. 
they're gonna go shoot over to, to the left and the king and the witches they wouldn't last against the the dragon and the baby dragon so we put the queen in put the warden in now notice the eagle artillery the entire time has been locked on to the three pekka and the healers and they have not been damaged too badly i think we had to use one rage spell on the healers to kind of get them going one time and now here comes the second phase of the attack and it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going to go on so we took a bunch of pictures because it's amusing on top of it being a good attack it's just thoroughly amusing to me of what we did <laughs> and this was a team attack uh, this was not just one person looking at it and, and executing it all we talked about this we have other people in the clan look at the base give their opinion it's it's a, to have more than one person talk about your attacks and you have a, a lower town hall attack it and then you have your number one number two attack it or maybe you have uh, town hall 10 jump up and try to two star it this could have maybe even been three star by a town hall 10 when you have your your 11s working together with the nines and the tens you have your more experienced guys working with the less experienced guys it builds the camaraderie up between the clan it kind of teaches the younger guys younger town hall wise uh, what the 11s are going through mentally and it, it just adds unity to the clan which is always a good thing so doing these shared attacks is a, just beneficial all the way around so I would definitely suggest trying to do that other than just flying in there and attacking it on your own so here's what we did as far as the core use 10 Valkyries which is kind of common for these types of attacks you see it in the top hundred uh, they see, see bowler Valks all the time then in the clan castle we decided to bring two more valkyries and then the rest of them were goblins which anyone that's ever tried the goblin knife knows that goblins can jump into the core and with a rage spell can slam on the, the town hall extremely fast it had a back end single tower single inferno tower so that helped out they had a reset on the goblins overall unique ingenuitive attack that's a word and I think you can pull this off pretty much most Town Hall 11 ring bases. I'd be interested to see another ring base up against this attack. So you may be posted later on. Anyway, like making the guides. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed making it. Till next time, it's been easy.